New government regulation regarding licensing is being called the worst thing that has happened to the songwriting industry in decades. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson joins us live from Music Row. And Jesse, what could this regulation mean for the music industry? Well, it means songs like the ones we listen to on the radio every day, like Somewhere on a Beach and Hunting, Fishing and Loving Every Day by Luke Bryan, may never be created, Rory. As it stands now, writers from different groups like BMI and ASCAP are more than free to write together, but these new regulations may change that. When you turn up the radio and hear your favorite song, you usually associate it with the artist. This Grammy Award winning Tim McGraw song was the number one country song of 2004. But it wasn't written by the country star. It was written by Tim Nichols and his pal Craig Weissman. I've been at it a long time. I've been really fortunate. A songwriter with a gift that is being threatened by federal rules. The craft, the profession of songwriting, is in a tenuous position right now. The Department of Justice put out a ruling last week creating 100% licensing instead of the fractional licensing that has been in place for decades. So what does that mean? Let's say I want to get rights to that Tim McGraw song. It has two different writers, one from BMI and one from ASCAP. As it stands now, I would have to call both ASCAP and BMI to get the license to the song. I would have to pay both songwriters individually. But following this Department of Justice decision, all I have to do is get in contact with one of the songwriters and only pay one of the songwriters. Then I'll let them figure it out. The decision was ridiculous, confounding. It shocked the American songwriter community. Nashville Songwriters Association Executive Director Bart Herbison says this is the worst thing that has happened to the songwriting profession in decades. The American songwriting profession has been on the Titanic and a few of them got in a lifeboat and the U.S. Department of Justice just torpedoed it. The fear is that due to the new regulations it will make it harder or even impossible for writers from different organizations to work together from a business perspective, hampering some of Nashville's most creative people and possibly stopping future hits from being created. Business decisions coming ahead of creative decisions in the music business when you're writing songs, that's not how you get the best product. Now at this time there are still plenty of questions that need to be answered, mainly when these would all go into effect, all of these regulations, and of course from a songwriter's perspective, if there's anything they can do to stop this from happening. We'll be sure to keep you up to date on whatever happens in this situation. Live from Music Row, Jesse Knutson, News Channel 5. Jesse, thank you.